I got all my parts and pieces together and I grabbed some of my black chalk paint. You can use to, um, acrylic paint or a spray paint, um, whatever you choose. Um, I like using chalk paint because it dries super fast. So um, I paint the whole little candlestick first and then I'll move on to the brim. You're going to want to paint the top and the bottom of the brim. And then I moved on to painting the little bat. Then I grabbed my dowel saw and I cut the tenon off so that the finial will fit inside the brim, the hole of the brim. I grab my micro gator and sanded it off flat. And then I started painting the rest of it black. And then I grab the micro gator again to shabby little candlestick part. Just sand around, just random. It doesn't have to be perfect. It's shabby. Once I was done sanding the candle part, then I jumped onto the brim and just sand around the edges. And I flip it over and sand on the edges on the other side too. And I grab the little bat, but you just gotta be gentle. Those little parts and pieces can break pretty easily. So just be gentle with it and sand it all around to give that shabby look also. I grab my little Posca marker and it's a little fine Posca marker and I just colored in the little eyeballs. The next thing I grab the little ball knob and it's an inch and a half ball knob and I use uh, Starbond Thick for glue because it glues pretty quickly. I just put a little bit around the edge of that and I placed it on top of the candle holder. I kind of moved it around a little bit so I could make sure it was level. I took my micro gator again and sanded the finial. Like I said, there's no rhyme or reason to it. Just make it shabby. And you don't have to even do that if you don't want to. I just like the look of it myself. And then you're going to grab the brim and you're going to want to add some hot glue all the way around the inside. I was going to grab my, my other glue, but it slips around too much. So if you use hot glue, it's going to work much better. So just put some all the way around the inside. And then you're just going to put it on top of the ball, wherever you decide you want that to be. And then I added some more hot glue onto the center there because that's where you're going to uh, place your finial. And it'll fit right inside that circle. I just held it down for just a few seconds to make sure it was going to stay. And I was kind of trying to eyeball where I wanted to put the eyeballs. So I grabbed my little black, I used a fine Posca to make the little two black dots to make the eyeballs on her. I had to show you my little Posca pen. And now my little make little pink cheeks. I use my eye makeup to make two little pink cheeks on her. As you can see, I just take a little bit with my finger and, and put it on. 
It just adds such character to the piece. Next thing I do is I'm going to put some of that Spanish moss for her hair. So I just run a bead of that glue underneath the brim, pretty close to the brim. And then I'm grabbing some of my Spanish moss, kind of wad it up and just stick it on there. I end up having to glue a little bit underneath to um, make sure it stays put. You'll see, just lift it up a little bit and just add a little bit more. I kind of just wiggle it around and, and then press the hair back down. I kind of get nitpicky where I'm trying to put that hair. You don't have to be, it doesn't have to be perfect. I try not to be perfect, but it's just the way I am, I guess. I'm gonna add a little bit more. So I just kind of squiggle a bunch of glue on there to put, I'll place that down. And this is where I add just a little bit more moss. I had to add a little bit more glue and I'm gonna add bangs to her in just a minute. Yep, get those little wild hairs, you gotta glue those suckers down. I had to take a little bit more. There was just like a little bald section there so I added the little extra piece on there. And this is where I added the bangs. I just ran a little tiny bit of glue right close to that brim and grabbed a few little tiny pieces. Glue them right down to make some little bangs for her. I realized that I had forgotten to put the little cloth around to make her little scarf before I added the hair. So you're going to want to do that first. You're going to want to add that little cloth. I mean, it was fine and I fixed it, but it would be much easier to, to add that little cloth first and then add the hair. And just make a little knot. I mean, I didn't even make a knot, just tied it. So. I just try to get it straight on the back side and then I take and clip I'll just clip it off shorten it to however long you want it and then I have to always mess with things and then I took my little bat I glued the little body onto the front of the wings And then I grab the raffia and I'm just going to add that around the finial. I made, I looped it around first and then I didn't like what I did so. And then I added that extra little piece and make a loop. And then I slid it down and over the little finial and tie it tight. And then you just make a little bow. That's the tricky part is keeping all of those little pieces together when you go to loop to make that bow. But I did it. And then just trim off the little 
extra pieces that are really long. I do it randomly. I try to make some a little bit longer, some a little bit shorter. And this is when I realized that I forgot to make my little tag to put on there. And it was going to be way too big, the ones that I had. So I just trim it down. Just cut it down and I add the little I added the little curves around. And I'm going to add the words Hocus Pocus. So I just grabbed my little alphabet. I got those at Hobby Lobby and the little ink pad at Hobby Lobby. And just stamp out whatever words you want. And then I just took some Kills Dark Sealing Wax and I added it to the tag to give it that grunge look. But I crumple it first. I was thinking about it for a second and then I said, oh, I'm going to crumple it first. So I just crumpled it up, just fold it over and over and over and over. And then, and then I unraveled it all and I just add a little bit of the dark sealing wax all over, just willy-nilly, doesn't matter. And take my fingers and I rub it all in there. It just really gives it that, that grungy look. And then just take a little bit of hot glue and add it to the back side of the bat. And then I lay it on top of the little tag. And then I kind of squish the glue through the little hole. And then I just add it to the front. I just placed it right on the right on top of the ribbon that I put on there. I think she came out super cute. I really hope you liked this video. Please share it. Thank you.